Um, yeah, so you've heard of my quiz on this, so I'll make an obligatory uh, weather remark. Uh, how cold is it? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking freezing, right? Um, and I, realistically, I should be used to this because um, not many people know this, but I actually spent like a large chunk of my childhood living in a tent. <laughs> It's not that, it's just, like, it's not that bad, right? It's a bit like camping, like, like, have you guys ever been camping? Yeah. Ever been camping for ten years? <laughs> hey, every day was like a holiday <laughs> with my family. <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. Um, actually, yeah, so you might have heard my surname is Shooting Star. Um, uh, my parents are hippies. That's not really a joke in that. Um, yeah, it took me 23 years to realise that, hey, maybe I'm the joke in that. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, mum and dad. <laughs> no, it was right. Um, my parents they used to make hemp. Eh? Yeah. Look, I'd say they'd make hemp because they certainly didn't make money. <laughs> Hence the the tent thing. Yeah, my mum like just would make hemp and biscuits. Like, we had <laughs> fucking biscuits all the time. Like we'd have no money, we'd have no food at home, and I'd still come home from school uh, to like this big pile of biscuits that mum has just handcrafted out of like chicken shit and ambition. That was, that was it. Yeah. Um, it was pretty cool. <laughs> so there's this thing that's really been bugging me lately. I don't know if it's a common thing. Um, people think I'm a bit weird when I get annoyed about it, but have you guys ever heard uh, the term, like when someone gets really full, they use the term food baby. Like, oh, I'm so yeah. full, I've got, oh, I've got a little food baby. Right, I'm, I'm starting to realise why it sh like, really gets to me, right? It's because when you think about it, what like the logistics of how you'd give birth to a food baby? Because right? what is it really? It's a it's a glorified pre-shit. <laughs> I don't need to hear that again. So so now um, whenever I'm really full, right? I like to cut the crap, right? No pun intended. Um, and I just go, oh, I got a little shit baby brewing. <laughs> or um, I don't say anything because I'm a fucking lady. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I don't know if this is like a manly thing across Australia, um, but like up in Queensland, we've got these certain kinds of men, right? Um, and the way they feel about meat, I find, can be directly linked back uh, to how secure they are about their sexuality. Um, and the reason, the reason I think this, right, is because I saw these two guys once, he's really like blokey fucking guys, uh, sitting down in a restaurant and they were really hanging shit on this like somewhat feminine man for eating a salad for dinner. And they're like, oh, what the fuck? Like, oh, I'm a fucking man. I don't eat salad. I just eat, I just get fucking steak. I don't want none of them gay sides. I don't want, them, <laughs> don't want none of them gay cutlery or nothing. I just pick it up and I'm mung into it. And this guy is just sitting there, right? He's like, rah, he's munging into this chunk of meat, right? And I'm just, I'm staring at him and he turns to his friend, he's like, yeah, I don't even eat the dude cows anymore, right? Because I don't want nothing going in my mouth that's had a dick in it. I'm like, dude, pretty sure you've had a few dick particles in your mouth. The reason I know this is because you're still eating with your hands. Oh. Yeah, that is a, a wanker. So, I don't know why I'm wanking like this, like I've got a weird dick dick or something. Yeah, I'm so single. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, okay, so what's uh, what's going to be next? Excuse me, I'm just, uh, just got my little uh, enormous list here. So, all right, here's something. You guys are a classy crowd, right? So um, I'm going to do my drink spiking joke for you. Uh, <laughs> I really hope it flies. Um, yeah, okay, so as you've heard, uh, I've had my drink spiked actually three times and I still drink alcohol, which like, I'm like, commitment to the cause, right? That's fine. Um, the really... Odd thing though was that every time I'd had my drink spiked, um, I was about 25 kilos heavier than I am now, right? And like it was, it was okay because like I, nothing bad ever happened. Uh, like I'd just go home and eat pastries and stuff. Like I was, <laughs> I was safe night in. Um, but I just thought, like, how low did that guy's self-esteem have to be, right? Because if you think about it, like if you've got rohypnol, the world is your oyster. <laughs> you know, like every. <laughs> Chicken that bar was 
his oyster, lady oyster, and uh, he's still going for the bigger lady. I mean, look, take it seriously. Take it from personal experience. Like, if you're chasing a chubby man, you probably don't need rehypnol. Like, no, like you just take it to dinner first. Yeah, yeah, yeah bitches love sizzler. So, yeah, but. <laughs> Okay, we're all right. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so I have this friend, right? She's one of those people that's allergic to everything. Like, she hit the allergy jackpot, right? She's, she's allergic to dairy, so she can't eat cheese. Um, she's allergic to gluten, so, like, bread's off the table. Um, but she's also deathly allergic to fish, right? Deathly allergic to fish, which in itself is not so weird. Right? Um, were it not for the fact that she's studying to be a marine biologist, <laughs> which I just kind of feel like it's kicking natural selection like right in the dick. <laughs> um, yeah, stick it to the man, love. Uh, so here's another weird one though. She's also just recently found out that she is allergic to semen. Not like the, in the Navy, but like the little, little, little magic swimmy boys. Yeah, fish and semen. Yeah. Don't even get me started on sperm whales. Okay? That's a pun. Yeah. And it's a joke because like a whale's uh, not a fish, it's a mammal, so she'd probably be fine actually if she ate that. Yeah. Unless she served a tour in a bun, in which case she'd be fucked. Uh, anyway guys, that's me for the evening. You guys have been a fantastic Bitches love Sizzler. Well said. Well said. It's a cheap night out. Ooh. That was really good. Thank you. One more for her. Come on. That was good. Yeah. And that is like we just had sex. Thank you. Yeah.